what up y'all this is gonna be a real quick video uh here today i just got these in today um and only one pack this time this is the impact 20 20 year anniversary um 20 years wild that impacts been around that long or tna um the 2022 series one trading cards we're carrying it on i just got one box this time and i'll tell y'all why um, and this is not to throw off on the talent that's here. Um, but the choices for autographs were Lady Frost, who is relatively brand new. Jonah, another relatively brand new act or character in Impact. And Mickey James, um, who's, you know, legend. Um, I don't normally... Um, I normally would, would try to, you know... Get the autographs I like and just leave it alone at that uh, whether that be you know just get three packs and sell the other or whatever but with this one it really I was like well whatever you know which whichever autograph I get will be fine I'm kind of hoping for Mickey James but it's not a be-all end-all e either one would be good um, so we're just gonna open them check them out just one pack this time um, And uh, we'll see what we got in here, man. Right off the top, I'm seeing Drew Galloway. Been a while since we called him that, huh? Which is, is kind of cool. They have these uh, characters from, you know, these previous characters. Um, and thrown in, in the boxes as well. That's kind of neat. Um, and then again, they put this in here. I'm guessing so no movement around in the card box. It's a little divider. But anyway, let's get right to it. Drew Galloway is our first card. And Impact Wrestling, you'd say what you want about him. They really helped this man rebuild his career. That is true. A former TNA World Heavyweight Champion and Impact Grand Champion, Drew Galloway wrestled for TNA Impact from 2015 to 2017, was the first ever Scottish-born TNA World Heavyweight Champion. A powerhouse with close to 20 years of in-ring experience. Drew ranked number four in the top 500 singles, wrestle singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 2020 and 2021. Of course, that wasn't during his stance and impact. But I already see the autograph. It looks like I'm number 53. I don't see who it is yet, though, so that's, that's good. Here's Mickey James. And she could still have an autograph card in here. One of the most decorated knockouts ever. Mickey James continues her trailblazing career. She's now a four-time knockouts world champion, who in January shocked the wrestling world when she participated in the WWE's 30-woman Royal Rumble match. She defeated Deanna Perrazzo at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view in the first ever knockouts pay-per-view main event match. I did not realize it was the first ever main event match. That's cool. Here we got Jonah. Another possibility for Bronson Reed is what his NXT name was um, for an autograph. A dominant force from Down Under, Jonah arrived in Impact Wrestling in late 2021, immediately made his massive force known the 6-foot, 330-pound man monster from Australia, went right after Josh Alexander, sending a clear message to the entire locker room. He will do what he wants, when he wants, where he wants, regardless who he has to go through en route. And yet, the last option for the autograph, Lady Frost. Lady Frost, a third-generation wrestler. I did not realize that. Made her Impact debut in July 2021 and immediately showed she won't back down from anyone. All titles are in jeopardy when she steps into the ring. She was the first entrant in the inaugural Knockouts Ultimate X match held in January at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view. And it looks like these are in order, too, which is cool. I didn't realize that. That might have always been the case. But how about Masha Slamovich? Or Slamovic. This is a, a new one. At Knockouts Knockdown in 2021, then Knockouts World Champion Diana Perrazzo defeated Mickey James' handpicked opponent, Masha Slamovic. But the Russian Dynamite was impressive to say the least, so much in fact that Impact Hall of Famer Gail Kim offered Slamovic an Impact contract on the spot. It's only a matter of time until Slamovic wears gold. She's got a really cool look. Like a lady bride of Frankenstein. Mike Bailey. I'm a fan of this guy. This guy seems... Uh, Seems destined for some good stuff. Speedball Mike Bailey brings the most unique and orthodox offense to the Impact Wrestling ring. He made his Impact debut at the Hard to Kill pre-show, winning an explosive four-way match against Ace Austin, Laredo Kid, and Chris Bay. 
a Canada native who wrestles barefoot, Bailey is bound for glory, particularly in the X Division. W. Morrissey. Just trucking right along there. Big Cass, formerly known as. After a surprising debut for Impact Wrestling in 2021, W. Morrissey has powered his way past a list of challengers, including Willie Mack and Rich Swan, among others. His biggest challenge ever was at No Surrender in February when he challenged his former ally, Moose, for the Impact World Championship in New Orleans. The seven-foot madman has been wrestling since 2009 and destined for championship glory. And you can tell how new these cards are. I mean, they're referencing things that were like a month ago. So, very, very cool. Very, very cool. Laredo Kid, fan of this guy. He's, uh, he's all over MLW, Impact. Laredo Kid has been wrestling professionally for almost 20 years and is now looking to show the Impact roster why he's a multi-time champion in Mexico-based Lucha Libre AAA Worldwide. The mass superstar has an aerial offense that is unmatched. He ranked number 22 of the top 500 singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 2021. Wow, number 22. I did not know that. We're getting close, y'all. Who's going to be the autograph? Raj Singh. Up next. Still weird that they got... Uh, Rid of, uh, was it Rohit? Rohit? Rohit Raju. I liked him. Thought he was a good promo. Decent wrestler. A long family legacy in pro wrestling, Raj Singh has shined in singles and tag team wrestling. He is the son of Gamba Singh and the cousin of WWE superstar Jinder Mahal. I did not realize that either. Hmm. Born, raised, and still living in Canada, Raj is a hockey fan who boasts a powerful slap shot of his own. He has attended NHL and ML MLB games during his time on the road for Impact. You know, just a little fact there. Oh, wow. <coughs> wow, y'all. I just saw the autograph. I guess I just gave it away, didn't I? Tom Hannafin. So funny. What a what a what a unique last name. As first reported by Renee Paquette. Hope I said that right. Tom Hannafin signed with Impact Wrestling in January. Made his debut as the company's new play-by-play -play announcer at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view. He has worked at the broadcast table alongside D'Lo Brown and Matthew Raywalt and endured the ugly antics of honor no more. Tom Phillips, formerly in WWE. I always thought this guy was good, man. Um, thought he was pretty decent, you know. And just luck of the draw, y'all. We didn't get Jonah. We didn't get Lady Frost. Number 53 or 58, I can't tell. Mickey James. How cool is that? She was the one who I, I would have preferred the most out of the three. And that's who we got. Thanks, Impact Wrestling. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. One of the most decorated knockouts ever. Mickey James continues... Her trailblazing career. Is this the same as the... Okay, no, it's not the same. But it is the same... Um, yeah, the same like little description. There it is. Mickey James. It's so cool. Wow. So the deal with these is, is if you order three packs, you're guaranteed three different autographs. This was phenomenal, dude. They're a little high-end. They're 30 bucks. Um for a box there's 10 cards but i mean you're uh, you have a guaranteed autograph in there and mickey james come on for real she's no matter how you feel about her she's one of the best dude what a box and you know what i'm just going to take this opportunity real quick because I, I knew this was going to be kind of a short video very very quickly um because i don't feel like enough people do it i've watched wrestling my entire life and um you know, I, I gotta say, today's current product, as of April 2022, WWE is picking up steam. Well, they had picked up steam for WrestleMania. They're kind of losing that now, I think, uh, which is normal for them, right after the big, you know, season finale. Um, but anyway, yeah, WWE is, uh, is you know, they're kind of getting their trying to get their vibe back back into the swing AEW is still really trying to find a groove some some weeks are good some weeks just don't make a lot of sense to me storyline wise impact wrestling 
you can knock it all you want, but it's been around for 20 years, and a lot of times, at least the storylines make sense. You know, some of the characters aren't great, but they do have some good characters, for sure. There's good wrestling. Uh, yes, they're running on a lower budget, but overall, the storylines make sense. The characters make sense. They use what they have well. And that's a critique from a lifelong wrestling fan. I haven't always thought that about Impact Wrestling, but as of right now with the other competition, I must say it, I'd put these guys up against AEW storyline-wise. I'd put them up against WWE most of the time storyline-wise. Impact Wrestling, keep doing your thing. Thank you all. Mickey James, how sweet. Thanks for watching, y'all. I will see you next time. Eddie Kingston, represent.